that only sees the physical appearance of a person but love is something more because they don't see the physical appearance but the inner side of a person like the good attitude or behavior no matter what he or she they will accept who, who they are and love it's just like a piece of puzzle that will complete our life. They say that there are only two things that matter, the life and death. Since we're talking about that, I want to share this with you, the question that um, I've been thinking a long time ago. What happens after we die? Are we just going to die and nothing will happen and our bodies will just decompose? Or there's afterlife? I mean, it looks like this life is just a dream and after we die, we're going to wake up and I'm, that's the real life. Maybe it's confusing but that's really my question. I wanted to know the answer but I don't want to die. This is Jerome Poriran and the question that I really wanted to know and I seek for answer is the philosophical question that why is homosexuality exist? Like, um, like how does it start? Like, I want to know why are there people who are not born straight? Why are there people who are um, homosexuals? since from the start since from um the time they were born like is it because of genes environment or whatsoever this question is very significant for me because i myself am one of the people who are in lgbtqia community and i do really want to know the answer because in my perspective, being homosexual is really not a choice. We are born this way. So yeah, that's the question that really struck me. And I really do want to know the reason why people like me exist. So that um, other people would um, understand and would respect. And also could open their minds about um, homosexuality and, and eventually would live in harmony with us. 